And all this is is subsidization of the rich. That's right. They call it getting rid of tax shelters, but really it's just like the Tax Free Foundations in 1906 was billed as a way to defeat the, the robber barons. It really made their money private, uh, go into these foundations so that it was uh, completely, uh, you know, protected and, and couldn't be investigated. And they used that to further consolidate their power through the Carnegie Endowment, the Rockefeller Endowment. Uh, and others, and of course they were all eugenicists at the time, and their their sons are now in control now, the elderly David Rockefeller and others, and so it's still the same mindset, still the same program. Uh, Bob Chapman, getting back to uh, Mr. Von Brun in this shooting and H.R. 1207, 225 sponsors now going to the floor in the next week or so, and the COINTELPRO operation from the establishment, I've noticed the last few years when this has been building, is, oh, they just want to audit the Fed so they can set up a new bank of the world, destroy the Fed, and set up a new bank of the world. No, if you audit the Fed, it is a tentacle or a proboscis, a suction uh, vehicle, to the big Anglo-American slash uh, European uh, complex, banking complex. And I want your take on this when we get back, Bob, your analysis with Bob Chapman. And so if you break open the door on the bankers, you show the crime of private central banking and the fraud, it then brings down the whole system. So it, it, it's, it's, it's part and parcel. It's like an arm of the New World Order. So, so, so they're saying, oh, don't investigate the arm uh, because then you'll put the rest of the body in control. Certainly if we start beating them, they're going to try to spin it into that. But that's not what's happening here. And so despite the fact that people inside our movement with the government op tried to stop what we were doing, we're marching forward, and even if this fails and they have a little fake celebration, it is going to be short-lived because now the people irrevocably know who the enemy is, the private Federal Reserve, and the few that don't know are now learning. We are on the edge of truly engaging the enemy toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I sit down with Big Brother, don't like those RFIDs. That is Jimmy Vaughn. Okay, going back to Bob Chapman. Bob, specifically, the point I'm making, and I want your, your view on this, is it's all coming to a head. We're having this incredible victory. We have to recognize we have power. We have to recognize we have destiny. We have to believe it and image it and move forward knowing we're right and knowing we don't have a choice. We are under scientific bondage of a group of private offshore banks that have engaged in a corporate takeover of the U.S. They probably would have gotten away with it, but they're so greedy that they're looting and stealing everything, thinking Homeland Security and Northcom can protect them in it. They plan to bring us into a greater crisis so they can have a clamp down. We have their own documents. But now we're fighting back. Ron Paul's risking his life. We've supported him. The, the people have called for months by the thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands to Washington on record. We have now have at 225. It's going to go to the floor. It's got a good chance of passing. And even if it doesn't, People are going to have to defend why this group's above the law, why they can't be investigated. And Congress separately, as you know, Bob, is now subpoenaing the Fed, saying you will tell us where the Bank of America money went. You will tell us where the billions went. You will tell us where the $300 billion went on that. You will tell us why you ordered the CEO to buy another bank that was healthy. You will tell us. Well, because there's stockholders, the Rockefellers and others over Bank of America. They're getting the profit. It's always about the CEOs. But the CEOs, Bob, aren't they literally like the kind of like the pirate sent out by the pirate king and he gets flayed alive if, if he doesn't do what he's told? I mean, aren't these CEOs just diversions from the real power? Yes, we might call them the mercenaries. And that's exactly what they are. And it's like the presidents that we get for the country. They're simply mercenaries that do what they're told to do. But uh, harking back to what you spoke of uh, just before the break, uh, this piece of legislation uh, which I think will pass in the House is probably the biggest thing that's happened uh, to bring the American people together and to attack the real problem, the underlying problem with our economic and financial being and that is the Federal Reserve and you alluded to this before and of course for the British the Bank of England uh, that is a, another private organization upon which the Federal Reserve was modeled. And we're getting the word out. We're making people understand who is doing it to them, who is robbing them, 
who is corrupt. It's the guys in the four thousand, three thousand dollar suits. That's who it is. And, and what does G.I. Take... Joe say? What does G.I. Joe say? Knowing is half the battle. We are now identifying the enemy, identifying the illegitimate criminals, and once we've educated the public, we win. That's why they're going to have to stage events and say it's anti-Semitic to not want the Federal Reserve, and they're going to make it racial and religious and inject that into the middle of it. And it's not going to work. It just isn't going to work, and that, that was foolish of them to do that, but that's okay. If that's what they want to do, that's fine. As you say, we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head, -head, uh, the right thing at the right time. Uh, and, you know, Congressman McFadden would have been successful if they hadn't murdered him. And uh, so this time, uh, we're really going to take a shot at him because it's not only Ron Paul. There's all of these people surrounding him, Americans of all stripes, so to speak, politically and otherwise. P America's coming together, uh, like Anthony J. Hilder and I discussed in this program before. He and I have been fighting for years to make this happen, and it's happening brought together by economic and financial events. Bob, it's got to feel good to you, to the sacrifices, the attacks. You've even been driven out of this country by these criminals. Uh, you know, your, your choice, you could operate and not be stopped by them because they're scared of you. It's got to feel good, though, to see we've come this far and to feel the momentum shifting. You can, you can feel it and smell it. These, they're terrified that the world is going to find out what they're doing. And every morning when we start at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning doing the emails, they're in from Australia and Malaysia and Japan. And, and, we, and we make the gamut. Uh, we, we, they start coming in from uh, Latvia, uh, Kazakhstan, and so on and so forth. People are listening to these programs all over the world, and we are drilling these people. That's right, and we can't be stopped because, Bob, you and I and all the rest of us that are committed, like you said, we're not turning back. Point of no return. We can't be stopped. If God be with us, who can stand against us? Bob Chapman, stay there. Call straight ahead, 1-800-259-9231 for Bob Chapman. We'll talk more about what's happening in the economy when we get back. Different congressmen and senators, children, the Lindberghs. We look at how they killed members of Congress who fought the Federal Reserve Act. They tried to kill Andrew Jackson. They tried to kill, and probably did kill, George Washington. Just as a uh, figurehead, because he was speaking out against it. This is on record in, in, in the mainline history books. And Ron Paul has said he knows he's in danger. We should probably do a story documenting the dirty tricks of the bankers before. Because this is the shadow government. This is the parasites. This is the enemy of all free humans, no matter what color or religion you are. And we don't need to let them make it racial, make it religious. That's their game. That's what they want. And don't let the white supremacist and people bully you into playing that game. Notice the ADL and the white supremacist are on the same team when it comes to that. Fight the International Federal Reserve. Fight the foreign offshore banks. Bob Chapman, uh, I, I mean, you know the history of it. The film we carry, The Money Masters, three hours long, breaks it all down, but the general public may not. Uh, what do you expect to see the globalists do to try to stop this? I mean, more stage shootings or hyping real shootings or uh, more MIAC reports demonizing in the Fed groups. They admit they have the army spying on us, myself included, when I protest them. Where do you see this going? Well, I think we're going to get a lot more of the same, and uh, they'll get more aggressive. And uh, we'll just have to get more aggressive and get more time on more stations throughout the world. And uh, it, they're getting heat not only in the United States, they're getting it all over the world. And that's very important because, you know, they're throwing their hands up in the air like they did three weeks ago at the Bilderberger meeting. And they said, I think that the major problem that we got here that we've got to solve is that what we've created, which is this financial and economic collapse that we're trying to uh, bring into being in the way that we want it to so that we can get full control is spinning out of control away from us. And we think that maybe uh, we should uh, bring this thing in so we can control it. And uh, they I don't know whether they're in the process of trying to do that, but 
as they would try to do that, they would have to create all of these deflections to get people's uh, thought patterns and, and, and the things that they're doing off on something else like uh, the North Korean shooting missiles, uh, the situation uh, that exists uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan, and will they go into Pakistan? Uh, will Israel attack Iran? And these are the, the things that they do to keep us our mind off the subject. And the subject is very important because they're getting discovered. And this is what Ron Paul has done with this legislation. And even if we were to be defeated, uh, millions and millions of people worldwide who now can identify who the enemy is. And there's going to be legislation like this in all three countries of the world. I mean, what we're doing is changing history. And uh, it's happened over and over again. It's the right event at the right time.